Okay, we're showing how to make a fountain out of a pot. You can see we've purchased a large pot and the plan is to have water flowing over the sides. We've already got the area prepped with a reservoir dug out and some rocks installed. We did a trial run earlier and found that the pot was too porous and we ended up having to seal it with some rubber paint. Here's the supplies we're using. The rubber paint is called Flex Seal. Uh, we got this at Home Depot. It's about $30 a can. Uh, we used about one and a half cans for the pot. It's a very large pot. We've also got purchased a submersible waterproof light that's going to go in the bottom and hopefully have some light shining through the water. We're using a submersible water pump which is 800 gallons per hour. It was about 25 to 30 dollars on Amazon. Uh, on the trial run we found out that one pump is really not enough so I decided to use two, which will allow us for a little bit more, allow for more adjustment um, in the flow. These have, um, you can adjust the flow right here. And we've got some tubing that's gonna go through the bottom of the pot. We're gonna seal that with some water weld which is a epoxy that was also purchased on Amazon. The other problem that we discovered is because of the amount of water in the pot, the, the pump just allows water to backflow uh, when it's turned off. So purchase these one-way valves they are gonna be attached to the tubing so when the pump is off, uh, the water won't backflow. We also got these clamps also on Amazon. Um, I didn't want to take any risk that the tubing would become unattached or leak from the pump. So this is a half to one and a fourth inch clamp. Just put around the tubing and can tighten. For our reservoir, we have some cinder block where the two pumps are going to go in the cinder block. I'm going to put some brick on top to protect them and keep some of the smaller rocks away from the intake area. The reservoir is surrounded by this rubber liner. Uh, I think it's a Firestone rubber. It's actually one of the more expensive kind. It's a 45 mil. It's fairly thick. You can get the 14 mil, but they're very thin. Much easier to puncture through. Um, and I didn't want to have to risk any leaking. I also put an old piece of rubber down the bottom to kind of help protect uh, the bottom from any punctures. Okay, we have our two pumps. In the cinder block, we put at the bottom of the reservoir, and they're attached by the clamps to the tubing. The tubing is then going to come up the bottom of the pot. So now I'm going to put some bricks over the top of the cinder block to protect the pumps a little. Okay, what I'm doing now is chipping a little of the cinder block away so the tube can then come up through the middle of the pot. It doesn't pinch it. I also don't want too much weight from the rock on it to pinch the flow of, the, of water. Okay, we're making progress. We've got the pot in place. We've made 
make sure it was level, which of course is very important because you want the water to flow off the top very evenly. We've got our two pumps buried down into the cinder blocks and protected by bricks. The tubes are going from the pumps into the tubes. Next we're going to add our one-way valves to the end of the tubes so the water can't backflow down in the reservoir when the pump's off. The tubes are a little bit smaller than the one-way valve so what I did earlier to get these on is I actually used a hair dryer to heat up the plastic and then put the valves on. Okay, I'm going to be using this water weld by JB Weld and this is an epoxy that I'm going to use to seal the bottom of the pot. So I'm going to cut a small amount. So I've cut off the piece that I'm going to use and then you peel off the end and re-stick it on the unused portion. And You just take it and mix it. You can see there's a white and plus a gray color you want to mix completely. This stuff takes about a half hour to set up and an hour to fully cure. So there's our first hole. I'm just going to shove it down in the hole and let it cure. Okay, we're ready to fill up the fountain. We've got, put a little bit of water in the bottom of the, just to make sure it's not leaking. We've got our pumps and the reservoirs down here to protect them. The tubes that are going up through the bottom got our light installed, our one-way valves on the end of the tubing to prevent the water from coming back. turned on the second pump not sure if I care too much about the back side but 